Hey everybody, it's Tammy. I just wanted to share this month's design team project for Ephemera's Vintage Garden. I used the Cottage Meadow um, kit one and two. That's ephemerasvintagegarden.com. It has a lot of um, flowers and dried looking wildflowers. Um, that you can make into slides. She has the slide templates in the kit. Um, these are with pieces of tape, tape to um, script. She has some 3x5 cards that are vintage um, postcards included in the kits. Some little labels. Um, Butterfly slides, eco dyed papers that you can make into tags, and it would be backed. You just fold it in half and back it um, with that, and so you have writing space. So it's fun kits to work with. Um, this month I decided to do a folio. I used the Book Vandals um, tutorial on YouTube. Um, it's made out of four envelopes, three large envelopes, and then a smaller one. I'll try to put the link below so you can check out that video on how to do it. It's a lot of fun. Um, I think she does a Christmas one. So my closure is ribbon, and I just have some beads and a honeybee four-leaf clover wrapped around an eyelet. Um, so I did some napkin decoupaging on some just um, paper that I had in one of the paper pads. These are two of the um, tags that are included in the kit. And I just put some florist tape and um, that. I think this one is like a plastic lavender. A few little tags. And like I said, it has the journaling space on the back. Another one, the paper flower on it, and the butterfly. So what I have done on the cover of this journal is I um, put some of these clear photo corners. I got them on sale at Hobby Lobby, and I just attach these tags. They just slide right into the little pockets, and you could easily just remove these if you didn't want that bulk on there. I mean, they're, they're flat, um, but you could put other tags or um, just take the corners off if that's not, you know, what you wanted. So, the folio opens and there's a large pocket in the front. And I have a large journaling tag. It slides out. I just um, enlarge this tag and did a faux silk flowers there. And there's journaling space on the back. Whoops. It's just on a bulb pen. I'm gonna leave flat there. But that goes in the pocket. This is one of the envelopes included in the one of the kits. And I just, um, I didn't attach it together. I just left it open so I could put some goodies inside. This is from one of, one of the kits, one of those two kits. And it's a really cute little envelope. So again, I have these little photo corners that I just slipped it in. I didn't want to glue it down because it was so pretty. So inside, I'll put that back in um, after. This is from the kit also, and it just covered up my, my brad. That held my um, thingamajig on there. Okay, so um, I don't know about your week, but my week has been crazy. With um, my computers going down, my um, phone gave me trouble. We had two days without internet in the neighborhood. So now that... We have internet again. I'm trying
trying to get this taped. So this is the little journal that I made and I just have it slipping right in this pocket. And so if it got full, you could easily replace the journal. This is a faux tag pocket here, the acetate. This tag just slides out for journaling. Inside, I have one of those cards, um, vintage cards that I've made into a pocket and just added some ephemera. And this is from another EVG kit. And I did some stamping. It has some great um, journaling paper in the kit. They all have a uh, plant on them. This is from a, a vintage garden book. Too bad paper. This is from the kit. Another one of those tags. A little pocket. Some tags. Lots of journaling space. Let me see if I can adjust this um, a little bit. Hope you can see that in the center of the folio. There's some little four leaf clovers there. So anyway, our um, internet being out for two days really put me behind, and I thought I would try to take a few minutes and record this, get it up on YouTube today. This is an over-the-page um, double pocket with a couple of tags here, a couple of tags here, and it just slides over the top of the page. These are all included in the kit. So my die cuts I use there. My B stamps. So like I said, once it's full, you can easily replace the journal with another one. I just did the three hole pamphlet stitch here and it just slides right into that pocket. This is a pocket that flips out. Just move it over so you can see it. Um, little pocket here. These slide out. We're journaling on the back. I did some stitching around the edges. This one just slides in here. So they're easy to size, larger or smaller. Um, this is a envelope that's included in the kit. Um, a note card I had, and this is an envelope, a smaller one. Um, I just slid that in, one of the cards from an image from the kit. And let's see, one of these little paper clips. So this one, I have some ephemera in here. That's from the kit. right in there with these little paper clips. Just folds up. And then this is where the tags go on the outside. And then this way the folio opens this way also for another pocket. Um, a tag that slides out. 
a little file folder with some more tags that are included in the kit. Another one of the faux slides, the journaling card. I forgot to put some ribbon on it. Oops. The top is catching. Okay. Um, a little bag. It's the tag. Another large envelope pocket. And I used some more images from the kit. So journaling tag, um, some of my die cuts, a large journaling tag. These just go back here. And I also made um, this little coin pocket. This was uh, following the instructions from Gina's, the Firefly Studio 67. I'll put the link below. It's um, really cute. It'll hold a lot of ephemera. And um, I'll definitely be filling that up. But just with some of the coordinating paper, made that. So I hope you enjoyed my design team project. If you like it, then give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Bye.